and welcome to Let's Play with Creative Arts Theater, the City of Tampa's professional theater company for young audiences. My name is Lizzie, and today we will be playing a game called My Side, Your Side. Have you ever noticed that in plays, books, TV shows, and movies, people seem to disagree about things all the time? Sometimes about little things that are silly and sometimes big, serious things. That's called conflict, and it happens in stories and in real life. When I disagree with people, sometimes I get a little upset. But it is important that we talk it out so that I can explain my point of view and try to understand where the other person is coming from. This also happens in stories. I have a game for us to play today to see how this works. It's easy. First, pick a topic. It can be anything. Next, you and your partner choose opposite opinions. Then, debate. A debate is when two people talk about something they disagree on and try to convince the other of their own opinion. Ready? I think it is more important for scientists to explore the ocean than space. The ocean is nice, but space is far more interesting. I can simply go to the beach to look at the ocean, but only real astronauts can go to space, so we need them to go explore for us. You can see the surface of the ocean easily, but not the deep sea. And we need to study and understand that part of the ocean so that we can protect the plants and animals. But in space, we could discover aliens. How will we know they exist if we don't look? In the ocean, there are tons of animals that we don't know much about, and even more that we don't even know exist. It's like aliens right here on Earth. Great job. And if you don't have someone to take the opposite side, just use a toy or a puppet. A spoon is the greatest invention of all time. Spoons are cool, but what about airplanes or rocket ships or hot chocolate? How will you make your hot chocolate without a spoon? Um, stir with literally any other kitchen utensil. And what about soup? Cereal? Ice cream? Okay, spoons are very helpful, I agree. Just not the greatest invention ever. There are real robots. If you insist, I will concede. Spoons are not the most impressive invention, but they are still the most useful. Tied with socks! Now you're all ready to go. We have some examples for you to use if you want, or you can feel free to be creative and come up with your own. Here are some tips and tricks to make playing easier. 1. Remember, a debate takes two. Make sure you really listen to your partner and what they are saying instead of just talking. The goal is to explain your perspective and to understand the other person. 2. Take turns speaking. Interrupting each other makes the game harder and less fun. Three, you don't have to really believe the things you say in your debate. You can act like a character who does. To make the game more interesting, you can even switch sides. Spoons rule the whole world. I think socks are better. They keep your feet warm and make shoes more comfortable. Or you can try to come to an agreement at the end of the debate. Every pizza should have pineapples. Pineapple on pizza is the worst thing in the whole wide world and no one should be allowed to eat it because it is so yucky it is basically poison. But it makes the pizza more fun and it's so pretty. But it doesn't matter if it looks good, it's not a painting, it's a pizza. It has to taste good. It does taste good. You're doing great. Now try to solve the conflict. Remember, try to come to an agreement and really listen to what each other is saying. Hmm, okay, what can we do? I believe everyone should have to have pineapple on pizza and you believe no one should even be allowed to. Maybe we can compromise. Compromise? My mom taught me about it. Compromise just means we meet somewhere between what I want and what you want. She says it doesn't work all the time, but it can be pretty helpful. Hmm, in the middle. <gasps> Got it! What if instead of everyone having to have 
pineapple or no pineapple, everyone could get to choose what they want on their own. What if people are sharing a pizza? They could take turns. Or they can get a pizza that has half and half. Yes. Perfect. Thank you for playing with me today. Join us again soon for another installment of Let's Play with Creative Arts Theater. And remember, stay calm, stay kind, stay safe, and stay creative. Bye.